Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jack Rush here. Welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Yes, it has been a long time uh, since I've done one of these. Got these uh, <clears throat> zombie things. One of the few instances where we actually have zombies in Metroid. The only other instance is really in Prime 2. It's gonna take more than just one missile to take me down, Buster. Okay, fine. Yeehaw! There we go. Alright, froggies. Now. Oh, I don't have more fall bombs. Okay. Did I shoot it with three missiles or four? I don't know. I'm like Nebuchadnezzar. It's like, didn't we throw three guys in the furnace? Well then why do I see four? <laughs> All right. This is where the, the uh, rhino guys are, yep. Ow. Hey, Space Pirates, ow. Or Space Pirate X. There we go. Hmm. Can you climb up a little bit? Oh boy, I'm being reckless. Give me that. Thank you. As far as I know, this is also the only Metroid game that uses ladders. Hmm. 
Ooh, nice, a red one. That was, uh, very convenient. up here. <laughs> you know, if there's a ladder there, it kind of indicates you need to use it. Pressing the wrong button. I keep confusing my buttons. Now, I do have a theory why there are Space Pirates here aboard, or excuse me, Space Pirate X, rather. Um, which, that's in my video, uh, let's see. Omega, Proteus, and Neo. Uh, or Ridley, Ridley, Omega, Proteus, and, Rid and Neo. Basically, it's my theory regarding why Neo Ridley is a thing in the first place. And it also brings up why um, the Space Pirates are a thing as well. Yeah, because I, I think they're connected. Boom, boom, boom. I uh, was just uh, sipping some harder mango. Uh, this is not a good time for me to get my buttons mixed up. There we go. Just one more time. There we go. Thank you, you idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember why Fusion is one of my favorites. This is like the only Chozo reference in the entire game, by the way. Ah! Ow. Ow. There we go. Okay. 
this current control configuration is only seems really that effective if you're if you don't really intend to be moving that much while you're firing missiles. Uh, you know, since we're playing Metroid Fusion, um, I remember hearing about, uh, some rumor that there is gonna be some, something Metroid related, or rather related to Fusion, rather, uh, this year, which, you know, there's an idea that it could be There we go. There is an idea that it could be Metroid 5. Um, you know, the sequel to Fusion. Um, I, th I think rather what's more likely though is that they're gonna make a Fusion remake. Um, and make it kind of like Samus Returns. Um, because Samus Returns features a, um, a secret cutscene. Uh, if you win the game with a, um, with the correct, uh, time, clear time. Um, and what the cutscene is, is, uh, showing the results of, the results of all the Metroids being gone from SR388, um, and shows the X-Parasite beginning its rampage. Um, and so that's why I'm pretty sure, you know, that seems to be teasing a Fusion remake, and... I wouldn't be surprised, nor would I be disappointed, because I like I like Fusion, and Samus Returns looks pretty pretty dang cool. Uh, I haven't played it myself, but I'm sure they could do something pretty awesome. And you know, all things considered, at this point, there isn't a single Metroid game that I hate, you know? And so, you know... It could be pretty good, you know? I'm sure Nintendo can really do something, especially since they're a little more wary about not doing anything that will upset the fans uh, because of Other M and Federation Force, which I would like to note I don't, I hate neither one of them. Ow. Yeah, holding down the miss. I need. I think I need to figure out something. Uh, oh well, I did successfully kill him, but oh yeah, I forgot I have the charge beam. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, actually. This would be a lot easier. I wonder if it'd be easier if I just use like WASD or WASD. Um, ooh, two reds. What are the odds of that? Um, but I wonder if it'd be easier if I just used WASD and then. Uh, 
uh, use like the arrow keys for like jump uh, jump diagonal aiming um, fire and um, item change or items or whatever I don't know. I might I might experiment with it or I might not. Yes. Oh no, I can't open that yet. I don't know if I actually need a recharge. Yeah, I don't need a recharge. Alright, let's uh, make it to Sector 2, shall we? Ah, the music's... Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular... Sector 2, TRO, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Yes. Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigation room. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying any objections, lady. He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, it's an X mimicking you. I have named it the SAX. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here. 
but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first, find the security room and unlock level 1. Hatches, then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the SAX. I think this uh, this game does a very good job of uh, really. Well, just. <laughs> Filling you with fear over the very idea of something that is much more powerful than you roaming about and after you, too. Oh, yeah, I have to go find the. Blue hatches, uh, hatch door, or whatever. Unfortunately, the wall jump mechanic is not as effective in fusion because. You can't just turn around easily, so you can't just scale a wall. You have to have another wall right next to it. Yeah. I think I was just trying to do a mix of Yeehaw and Yahoo or something. the uh yeah I can't get what's uh what's behind that wall just yet. Now excuse you the variance of how you get items differently in the game, like for different reasons. Yes, even the authorization thing, even though, like, the authorization thing in Other M, it's, it, it in of itself is not nonsensical, it's just the timing is stupid. That's the only real problem with the authorization way. Oh. I was trying to fire. Like, because, you know, it makes sense, because, you know, they they go into this area. Um, you know, under the impression 
that, you know, this is not Federation owned. And so, and you know, they want to make sure they don't kill anybody. And so Adam is wanting Samus to not be reckless with her equipment. Now, of course, you come to find later, actually, it is the Federation, but st uh, Federation that's operating everything that's on the bottle ship. Um, but, the, again, you know, Samus, or Adam is not wanting Samus to be reckless with her equipment because of the survivors and whatnot. Um, or, you know, in search of the survivors and, and stuff. So, the, so, you know, that being said, the authorization concept is not idiotic in of itself, it's the, um, it's the execution that's idiotic. Oops, I keep moving. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, why didn't the bomb blow that up? These guys always look like flying beats or something with arms or something. <laughs> it's like they're kind of like they're flying plant monsters or something. Which, you know, that concept has happened before in Metroid with, uh, Flaugra. Or Flagra. The correct pronunciation might actually be Flagra. To be, like, fragrant? Or, no, wait. No, that's spelled with an R. <laughs> what am I talking about? Flagrance. Uh, no. I mean, I always like to call it Flaugra. Uh, but, you know. I don't know. Speaking of pronouncing things, that just always reminds me of this video I did, which was talking, which was discussing how the word Zebus is pronounced. Now, of course, you know, it's, cre it's, you know, a mistranslation or whatever of Zebeth or whatever, but it's always been pronounced Zebus or something. But, you know, that wasn't the point of the video. My, the point of the video wasn't to talk about how it's actually pronounced. The point of the video was actually to talk about how it should be pronounced. And my argument was that it should be pronounced Zebes because it's like Thebes, the uh, capital of the ancient Egyptian Empire. I think it was the Middle Kingdom? Was that what it was? And of course the Chozo are like space, uh, space alien Egyptians. Um, or at least space, space alien, a space alien version of the ancient Egyptians anyway. Um, but I remember this one guy commented, and he was just like, you know, it's always been this or whatever, the idea that it was based on Thebes is just speculation, it's like, um, buddy, I think you missed the point in the video, I'm not talking about how it's actually, it's actually pronounced, I'm talking about how it should be pronounced, you know, there, there's a difference. Kind of forgot how durable those blue guys are. Ow.
But I guess you'll always have those people that just are always misinterpreting what you're saying. Even though what you're saying isn't even cryptic. Open wide! Not like that. Bad eyeball. It's a Spider Man Corax. Uh, never mind. Uh, this guy's called Zazabi. Which is not wasabi, don't confuse the two. Ah, come on. There we go. Probably... One more hit? No. Speaking of one more hit, I haven't really been paying attention to my health, have I? Ah! Uh-oh. I'm dead. Nope. No, it wasn't right. Aha! Well, don't celebrate just yet. Ah, nuts. That shouldn't have been, uh... Difficult boss, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I was just focusing on uh, talking. I was just, I don't know, preoccupied. Zazabi. What do you got? Wow. 
Wow, that was <laughs> so different from the last time. It's, it's uh. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's kind of like the last time I uh, or when I was first time I was doing these bosses. Um, uh oh, hello. First time I was fighting these bosses, um, trying out my uh, Android DS emulator with Metroid Prime Hunters, and then with two bosses, I didn't do so well the first time on in both instances. And then the second time around, it was so different. I finished finished them off with a lot more health. It was kind of funny. Uh oh. It's like, what happened? Uh oh. Ugh. Safe to go out. Well, I don't want to leave. Okay, gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. See, I always forget whether I can actually um, get this next upgrade or not without the gravity suit. I keep forgetting. I think I can. Yeah, I, I, I can still jump. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, the trick is you just need the um, spring ball. Whee! Hey, next episode we'll be going to the aqua environment, which is... Um... I, uh, it's not a bad environment. I actually like it. Um. Oh, that's right. Actually, yeah, I really do like the Aqua environment. It's got, it's got some pretty good music for, yeah. Of course, a lot of Aqua environments, they tend to have good music. It's just the one where you're going, like, just the whole thing is you're underwater in this game. Uh, that one area right after you fight Nightmare. That part's not that... <clears throat> that part's not so fun. Uh, now in AM2R, the water area in that game, it's actually really fun, and I think part of what makes it really fun is the music. The music is just really great. Yeah, look at that. Looky there. Got uh, sectors one and two done in one episode. Well, thank you all so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I hope to see you next time. Ciao.